welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, you know how much I appreciate you. I appreciate your pre presence here, your friendship. Thank you for being a support to me and to each other on this platform. If you're finding yourself here for the very first time, please welcome, pull up a chair, grab some snacks, a cup of tea, and we'll have a bit of a chat because we are all friends at my table. So today's pick a card, we are asking the question, who is currently dreaming of you? Who has, you have infiltrated somebody's dream. Who is it? What are they thinking? We do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the Hag stone and the cream flower. Pile number two with the purpley blue flower and the um, amethyst cluster. Whoops. Pile number three with the red flower and the uh, blue aragonite which is beautiful, it looks like a beach. Um, whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, just know there may be a message waiting for you there. Uh, my timestamps are listed below. Again, the, today's topic is who is dreaming of you and what are they thinking? Pile number one. Hello everyone who chose pile number one with the tiny deck and the um, headstone. I found this on the beach here in Ontario, <laughs> which it was just a beautiful find that day. Um, and the cream flower, this is your reading. Who is currently dreaming about you and what are they thinking? What are they dreaming about? What are their thoughts of you? So we do have the six of swords reversed coming out. So who is dreaming about you? Who is dreaming about you? Who is this person? Who is this person? We have the nine of wands. Who is this person? We have the five of swords. Woo, we have got a lot of air energy here. So clarifying that six of swords reversed. Who is this person who is dreaming about you? The page of swords. We also have the devil coming out and the eight of pentacles coming out with that as well. Who is dreaming about you, group one? Nine of wands. Who is dreaming about you? Woo, we got a bunch of coming out. The judgment. Who is dreaming about you? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so who is this person who is dreaming about you? We do have the Empress at the back of the deck. Now this can represent your person um, with the Empress energy or it could represent uh, you and how they view you. So if you are the Divine Feminine, if you identify with the Divine Feminine energy here, that would be you, this Empress. Um, it's about how they view this gorgeous creature, whoops, gorgeous creature that you are. You are abundant, you are amazingly beautiful. They put you up on that pedestal. Um, and you deserve to be there in their eyes. So who is this person? So we have a lot of air energy floating around. We also have Capricorn here. And this person is somebody who really, who really is having a difficult time moving on from their feelings for you. They could have had feelings for you in the past. Um, I feel like they are currently watching your social media. So I don't know if they're connected with you um, in reality or if they're connected with you as far as um, contact but they are definitely keeping tabs on you and there's just this sense of stagnancy of unable to move on and it could be somebody who you worked with or somebody that you went to school with with the eight of Pentacles here could be a Capricorn energy or an air sign but they are really watching you again they don't have to be those things I'm just I like to add that in for clarity for some people who know the signs of the people in their mind um, but there's a just this, this idea of not being able to move on not being able to kind of um, move forward and start a new beginning here. They're feeling kind of stuck, like they've been holding post for a really long time. So this person is somebody who perhaps you have kind of unfinished business with. There could have been a falling out in the past. And this is something that has really bothered them. It's infiltrating their dreams. I feel like they've hurt you. For a lot of you watching, I feel like they have hurt you in the past. And there was kind of a cut and run, like I had to win at all costs, so I hurt you. Um, it was sudden. As well, this person is acknowledging that this um, that this pain that happened, this this uh, discord that happened between you was very sudden, and perhaps that's really what shut off communication here. So let's look into what they're dreaming. What is this person dreaming about? This person unable to get this empress out of their mind. What are they dreaming about? The seven of wands. What are they thinking? The King of Wands. 
the tower. Wow. So their dreams are pretty bad. <laughs> they're having kind of bad dreams, but it's like, I feel like their dreams are kind of about them pushing through as the, her the hero of the day, them pushing through to try to avoid this disaster that is kind of fell out of the ethereal in this connection. It does acknowledge, again, that five of swords over the tower here does acknowledge like a sudden breakdown, a sudden kind of disconnect here. This person could also be a fire sign, Leo Aries Sagittarius, and be somebody who really works for themselves, who's kind of an entrepreneurial type of spirit. Um, we have the seven of wands, which shows you know, that their dreams are like these doorways to the obstacles between the two of you, this disconnect, this desire, this fire inside to move forward. What are they thinking? What are their dreams? The star. In their dreams, it's like they really, they are really hopeful. And that's why you're infiltrating them because they still have this hope in their heart that somewhere, someplace, they'll be able to rectify the situation and have that judgment. The judgment keeps looking at me as well because there are major themes being presented here. We have Empress, Tower, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Star, like the devil. So many major arcana coming out for you, which is a really strong indicator that this, we have the magicians like, oh, don't forget me, my hands in the air. Um, this is a strong connection. They would love to have a new beginning. They'd love to start talking again. And the dreams are just kind of these bad dreams reminding them of, of what happened. What is this person thinking? What are they dreaming about? They're, the king is dreaming about the queen. <laughs> you could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries as well here. And you know what they're really concerned about are how you are viewing them. So they're trying to kind of wear this mask of superiority, but at the same time, there is this concern about how the beautiful queen of wands will receive them because she is fiery tempered. She has a temper. She doesn't like to be crossed and she was crossed. <laughs> and it's like this sense of, I don't feel like your anger is as deep as they fear that it is. I feel like if they were to approach you, it actually isn't as deep as they think that it is because the time has really allowed you to gain a little perspective and you're a queen. So you don't, you don't allow yourself to stay mad forever. What are they thinking about the spirit? What are they dreaming about? The devil. Wow. <laughs> Nine of swords on the back of the deck. So they're, they are really feeling trapped. They are feeling stuck. It's, it is going around and around and around in their mind and it's causing them a lot of sleepless nights as well. Their dreams are negative. Their dreams kind of start out with this hopeful kind of um, theme at the beginning of their dreams. And then very quickly it spirals into the chaos, the fear, the entrapment that they feel now in, the, in this situation. So their dreams are really plaguing them in a negative way because they feel like they have lost this empress. And now they don't really know what to do. But here's the communication card again, the magicians. Like open up the lines of communication. Start building back and repairing what needs to be repaired here um, is really the message coming through. So let's get a couple of oracle cards. Who is dreaming about you and what do they want to say? You have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And this could be um, that since they're watching you, <laughs> they're keeping eyes on you, that could really be affecting some of their dreams. For some of you watching, you could kind of be moving on. You could kind of be like moving forward in your life. And so that's really spurring them, these bad dreams. <laughs> this idea of wanting to come in and push through and be the hero and, and have that hope, but then boom, it's like, it's like a recurring dream where it just goes really, really poorly. <laughs> we have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. And that is really reflective of these two devils showing up. The, both of you have this strong chemistry together. You can't deny it. It's very palpable. And we have the honeymoon card on the back of the deck. The moon is really the focus for me here in this card. And I feel like this person, it's all about the nighttime. It's all about these dreams they're having. They, they start out kind of sweet, but they go into a dark place. They start out in the light, but they travel into a very dark place for them because they're consumed by this loss, by this chaos, the uncon things were said perhaps that can't be taken back. It's just this uncontrolled change that came in. Balance, spirituality, and practicality is some advice for you out of the deck. We also have 
you're very close to achieving your goal. So I feel like, and it has this big, beautiful moon here, the Gibbous moon. Um, I really feel like this person could reach back out to you in the future. Um, how you take that, <laughs> we have meditate and contemplate at the back of the deck. How you receive them is completely 100% up to you. So spirit is communicating. Advice for group one, please. Who was dreaming about them? We have to be fair. Again, with that concern about how the queen is going to receive the offer again, they're really hoping that um, she would be fair <laughs> in her judgment of them before she kind of, Harry on the back, we have flexible as well. Back of deck energy is flexible. Please be flexible. Don't <laughs> shut the door on me completely. We have round and round. So their dreams really do. I do feel like it's recurring. I feel like you are always infiltrating them. It's just going round and round their head again because it's causing this torment inside. Sneaky. Causing this torment inside of them. Let's get some messages from this person. If they could say anything to you right this moment. Dreams and help they say. You take my breath away. That beautiful empress is, she's everything that represents what it is to be a woman. She's everything. I dream of being reckless. I dream of the recklessness perhaps that was shown as well as a message coming through. The recklessness in the time of, of disconnect that sort of showed itself. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I don't know how much longer I can maintain this um, disconnect. I don't know how much longer I can withstand these dreams. I don't know how to fix things. I don't know how to take back what was said. You consume my thoughts. You consume my thoughts in the day. You consume my thoughts in the evening. It's overwhelming. It's just mental energy that's just being tortured all the time because it is, there's no respite. I knew the first moment I saw you is on the back of that deck. Now let's get to a few of these little ones. If this person could say anything to group one, what would they say, please? What are they dreaming about? Oh, we got way. I don't know if we have too many. We'll see. Okay, so we we have a bunch here. I don't know. We have whoop, we have addictions come in many forms. You are mine, and that one's interesting to me because we did have that devil coming up, um, you know, multiple times for you, and it's coming up next to the round and round card. You are this mental addiction. We have soulmates. The attraction is more than physical. It's a, a tether. And they didn't discover that until it broke apart. Let's build together. <laughs> Can we build it back up? They're saying, I'm not going to make it. And this one is, cool, of course, sleepless nights. Sleepless nights for this person. I will never stop hoping for us. And there's that beautiful star looking right at me. <laughs> like, I will never stop giving up or with the hope that this could lead to a resurrection, a new beginning. It took some time, but I see clearly now. We have way more, but I let me get a few more here. We have a bunch. Even in a crowded room, I am lonely for you. I do want to start over. Okay, I'm going to just give them to you all, because why not? <laughs> My feelings for you have to be kept a secret. I surrender to what will be. And here, this one, I wanted to keep this one because of that, the um, Queen of Wands there. Hell hath no fury like a woman's scorn. <laughs> there is real fear here for your person, with this person who's dreaming about you. Charm bowl for group one, please, who is dreaming about them. Whoops. The High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, and the Justice card. So it's almost like your person saying, you know, this person is justified in not liking me anymore. <laughs> this person is justified if they don't accept me back. The high priestess, though, is really talking about how this person may has been has been sitting on information for a while about this connection. Like they were, they've 
known some things intrinsically. Um, and I feel like a lot of you watching are already you, like, you know who I'm talking about. Like you, you already knew the moment that, you know, some of the first few cards came out, who this person is as soon as you heard about the discord. So we have the Empress in the bowl, because that's who you are to them. We have the starfish, which is like this idea that we can rebuild out of, you know, out of the pain, out of the, out of the past, that there's this hope for rebuild, the hope to heal yourself, the hope to heal the situation. We have the monkey, and I think of a monkey on my back when the Nine of Swords shows up, having this monkey on my back. I also think of children as well. Me versus me. This person is really fighting it themselves. The palm tree and the bow. And we have you are always in my heart. A little charm that says you are always in my heart. And in my dreams, I feel like saying. Ooh, all right, group number one, that is what I have for you. Who is dreaming about you and what are some of their dreams and secret thoughts? Um, if this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I'd love to um, have you join us as a part of this community and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell and the like button if you enjoyed this video. It helps me to bring more content to you. Uh, if you can find me on Instagram, you can also find me for personal readings on Etsy. The links are below. Um, if you go to my Etsy page and the listing page is empty, it just means I've sold out for the day, but I do update by 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so check back often. I hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Bye. Hello, everybody. In pile number two, you were drawn to the little purple flower or to the purple amethyst cluster, and this is your reading. Let me just move this in here. Who is dr secretly dreaming about you? What are some of their dreams and their thoughts? Who is secretly dreaming about you? Oop. Who is secretly dreaming about group two, please, spirit? Ooh. So we have the Temperance card. Who is secretly dreaming about you? Who is secretly dreaming about you? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Who is secretly dreaming of you? And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, let's clarify that Temperance card, please. Who is secretly dreaming about group one? We have the Strength card. So it could be a Leo, somebody who's exercised a lot of patience. <laughs> with you. It could be a superior at work or somebody that you work with, um, somebody who trained you. I just have that message right now for someone watching, someone who might have trained you or somebody who is like your superior, but not by a lot. Like we have the tower coming out. Mm. Who is dreaming about you? <clears throat> who is dreaming about you? And we have the page of pentacles. Back of the deck is the Two of Wands. Hmm. The Two of Wands at the back of the deck. So this person is very curious about you. We also have the Three of Wands. Very curious about you. And again, it is somebody that I feel like has exercised a lot of patience as far as not revealing their feelings to you in the past. Um, somebody that you possibly work with or went to school with. Um, the Tower card present there. I'm going to get a little bit of clarity on that. It shows that like they have this fear of maybe revealing themselves to cause kind of uncontrolled change coming in. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this decision to kind of like, should I tell this person how I feel? Should I not? We have the King of Swords. They're trying to be logical. I don't like I said, I feel like they could be a superior at work, this person. We have the star card and Aquarius energy here. Um and I just, we have six of cups at the back of the deck. So somebody who has a very strong affinity for you, again, somebody who you could have went to school with or somebody um, like from your past, like a past position or a past job or somebody from your past, somebody who holds a really strong affinity for you. Somebody who has rose colored glasses, like you can do no wrong in this person's eyes. But this person is somebody who is really worried about um, revealing themselves and revealing their truth here with the star being submerged under the water. Um, revealing their truth for fear of irreversible change or fear of chaos that it could create. 
Um, it's showing somebody that's really had to tame the fears inside of themselves and not reveal themselves. Even though they have this passion that they would love to wield with you, they have a lot of passionate thoughts. And I feel like a lot of their dreams could kind of go in that vein of this passionate idea and wanting to communicate with you. They do want to communicate this idea of passion and and you know, heat <laughs> that they feel towards you. Um, that's something that's paramount in their dreams, I feel. But there's just this, this pull to be logical, this pull to be a leader, this pull to be analytical about the situation. So it's like they're, they're avoiding this chaos. They're avoiding this conflict because it seems like it makes the most sense. But let's get some clarity here. What does this person dream about? What are this person's dreams and what are they thinking about how to? What are this person's dreams and what are they thinking? This person's dreams. Wheel of Fortune. So they're dreaming about fate and the fact that this may be fated. They wonder why they're so attracted. They're, it's like they're dreaming about a sudden flip in this connection, a new kind of beginning. What are they dreaming about? And they feel a connection to you. Like they can't help it. They feel it. The Six of Wands. So they really dream about being looked at like the knight in shining armor or like just this successful like their dreams are fiery and they are like <laughs> their dreams are very about being seen as somebody who is very attractive very well endowed all of those types of energies are showing up here it's like i'm dreaming that that um we are successful that you see me as a success that there's a sudden turn in your eyes and you look at me like wow i can't resist this person even though this person has a lack of confidence at times two of swords the two of swords it's like they're dreaming about just throwing all the caution to the wind and making that decision but they're doing it blindly it's like they want to make rash decisions in their dreams because in the daytime in their real life in the 3d they are very logical very analytical a leader but in their dreams it's like i put the i put the blinders on and i just i just go for it what are they dreaming about Five of Cups. Oh, I do feel like there ends up being a shift, though, at some point. This person has these feelings of regret. Like, I, I feel like I've knocked over cups. I don't feel like I have a lot to offer, maybe. That's why there's such a discrepancy between that Six of Wands and that Five of Cups. It's just a what I'm portraying isn't what I actually feel. And I feel like I'm already kind of not accepted in your eyes. What's the person dreaming about? What do they think? Three of Wands coming out with the seven of wands but it's like I want to push past those feel in their dreams they're like I can push past that in my life I feel this way but in my dreams it's like a whole new world and I get to push past and I get to explore with this person I get to expand this connection Woo! I'm falling apart here what is this person dreaming about the two of swords please the ten of swords oh it's like, and we have the tower at the back of the deck. The tower showed up in the first pile too. Interesting. With the page of pentacles, you have the page already out for you, which is interesting to me. Um, this, this 10 of swords here, this person feels like they, they want so much expansion with you, but they almost feel like they're fighting a losing battle or like logically they need to just give up on the idea. And it infiltrates their dreams. It turns their dreams kind of sour. It turns their dreams um, from this nice, playful, energetic kind of uh, fiery place into a chaotic, you know, chaotic place. <laughs> We've got the tower coming up twice here. I, You know what? I think the tower might have come up once or I know it came up once in the first reading, but may have come up twice in the first reading as well. So there may be a message there for you as well. But this person is really worried about shifting this connection in a way that's irreversible and then kind of getting their heart broken in the process or losing out a lot in the process here so they feel the need to really keep their truth hidden page of pentacles the high priestess and the sun and it's like i'm biding my time i'm waiting before i make this offer before i make myself known but in their dreams it's like they do sometimes their dreams go dark sometimes their dreams really go to a bad place because it's that fear playing itself out 
because it's our brain's way of kind of working through our anxiety. And so in their dreams, it goes really dark. It goes to a place where they don't make logical decisions and then it leads to destruction. It leads to the ending. It leads to hope being lost. Hmm. Let's get some advice for group two. What does this person think about when they think about, when they dream about you? Whoa, it shot across. And it's two of them. Okay, so we have, oh, <laughs> we have the fate and we have the loyal heart and all that glitters also came out because somebody is really kind of wearing a mask um, here and really concerned about other people's opinions. And that's the worry too here. This person's concerned about the opinions of others if they were to kind of reveal their truth to you or reveal that you've, you're, you've infiltrated the day, the night and everything. But the fates and the loyal heart, they're just saying, you know, I feel like we could be soulmates. I feel like there's something here that's special. And I feel like it's kind of fated to be. And that's a message from spirit not to kind of give up hope. And that's kind of for, for your person, but they're not watching. So that's kind of, you have a leg up on the back of the deck. And I get, I'm getting that message that this could have been somebody that trained you or um, helped you out somehow at work, somebody at school, maybe a tutor or somebody who was kind of um, in a position of a little bit of power. Isolation. Oh, this person sometimes feels like they're all dressed up with nowhere to go. And I feel like it's associated with this Ten of Swords with the dreamlike state as well. It's like that could happen in their dream. Like they show up naked or something about being unclothed or not having enough. They feel isolated in their feelings for you for sure because they don't feel like they can share them. And we have the recovery card, which is a beautiful reminder from Spirit that we are able to kind of open our own doors. That we are the key to our own um, recovery we're the key to our own perspective and being able to shift that into a more positive mindset so that our dreams can turn into reality when they're positive of course if you guys hear a strange noise my dog is dreaming can you guys hear that he's dreaming <laughs> he's so cute he's chasing a squirrel probably <sighs> Who is dreaming about you? What are they dreaming? We have the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I do feel like this is somebody from school or work that you really flirt with a lot or who has flirted with you. I feel like you're more the flirter though. I feel like this person's more uh, logical, but the flirting really stirred a lot. <laughs> Did more, more, I, I want to say more damage than good because <laughs> it really spurred a lot inside of them. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. We have romantic feelings as well that doesn't want to be ignored here at the back of the deck. Ooh. Two of them. You and your loved ones are safe. And your dreams need a practical plan. And I feel like because it's associated with work for some of you, that's the real concern for your person too. They're concerned about you and they're concerned about what other people will say about you. Um, we have the energy is gaining momentum on the back of the deck. So it's like a, a confirmation from spirit that everything's okay, that there may be these dreams that this person are having do need a practical plan. And part of that practical plan is making a surefire plan by the light of day, not being confused through fear and having making all of those decisions based on what they are calling quote unquote logic, but are actually based in fear. And it's about pushing forward and making an actual plan and putting it into action. <laughs> Let's get some messages from this person. If they could say anything without fear, what would they say right this moment? If they could say anything without fear, what would they say just this moment? I have things I need to say to you. I have things that I want to communicate with you. And that page of pentacles showed up twice for you. <laughs> this person wants to reveal their dreams. You send me mixed signals and that often comes out when the flirt card comes out because it's like sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're cold and it depends on the day. So this person gets all up in a dither and then maybe you're cold to them the next day. You pull away. I'm letting go of the past. I 
I'm sick of no contact. So for some of you, you may have been separated because of COVID. Past life connection. We do have, you know, this loyal heart soulmate card coming out there. So that's interesting to me. Back of the deck is I want a new beginning. I want a new start here. I don't want to be in this zone anymore. Let's get some of these smaller. This person could say anything. What would they say, please, spirit? Okay, let's see. Back of the deck is I can't stop myself. I need closure. I can't stop myself. I need to reveal myself. I do feel like with that page coming over twice, you guys may actually get an emission of feelings from this person that is dreaming about you. We have patience coming out. Exercising patience. <laughs> we have trying to be strong. I try to fight the urges inside of me. Um, it's difficult, but you are everything. This isn't right and we both know it. <sighs> Oh, this is painful. Perhaps the separation, um, being separated is painful. Not being able to re reveal feelings is painful. We have Ice Queen. And I feel like that's associated with the mixed signals. Sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're cold with them. I am secretly terrified of revealing myself. I have two more here. I would take you home to mom. It's like they're saying, I want this to be on the up and up. I don't want to have this hidden. I just want everything to be on the up and up. Everything about you is attractive. Let's get a charm bowl for you. Group number two with this person who is dreaming about you. What are their current thoughts? So it is somebody that you could have gone to school with here for some of you with that six of cups, the knight of swords, and we have all the fool. So this person, um, if you went to school with them or if you worked with them in the past, they still have really um, very warm beautiful thoughts of you and it's spurring these dreams that they're having are really spurring them to want to act and want to have a new beginning with you i feel with that knight of swords charging in with not really knowing what he's charging into because i feel like there is some mixed signals being kind of thrown around but the fool is like that beautiful childlike energy that just leaps before they think so i feel like in the future this person might just kind of gear up the courage and just send you a message so prepare yourselves for that Oh. so we have um the little moon it's kind of ornately decorated there it's like a secret and it's at it's cast in blue it's at nighttime it's like this nighttime secret that this person kind of keeps that's where they get to express themselves is in their dreams with you um we have the chewbacca charm which makes me think of a narrowed nerd nerdy type of interest and don't take the word nerd as an offense i apologize if you do i consider myself a complete nerd so Please don't be offended. Um, we have the pineapple in the bowl, which is a symbol of friendship and, and somebody returning to you, just like that six of cups. We have tea. We have I can. We have the empress in the bowl. So motherhood could be um, kind of surrounding your connection. You could be a mother watching. Um, we have the guitar charm as well. So maybe they're very nerdy when it comes to guitar and music and they know a lot and they're very good at that sort of thing. Um, take that as it resonates. I'll give you a closer look of your bowl. All right, group number two, that is what I have for you today. Who is dreaming about you and what are some of these dreams and secret thoughts they have? Um, if this resonated, please leave me a, co a comment in the comment section. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me to bring more content to you. Um, subscribe to my channel and join our little family that we're growing here. We're a wonderful community of like-minded people who support one another. We are a space of positivity and light and love. So please join us. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. You can find me on Instagram as well. And you can book me for a personal reading um, through Etsy. The link is below. But if my page is empty, it just means I've lit, I booked for the day and I will update it at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day today. And I hope you come back and visit me at another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye. Hello, everybody. In group number three, you were drawn to the red flower or perhaps to this blue aragonite stone. Um, and this is your reading. Who is secretly dreaming about you and what are some of their dreams and thoughts? So who is this person secretly dreaming about you? 
Who is this person secretly dreaming of? Oh, you. Whoops. <laughs> Too many spirits. Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? We have the Ace of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Their dreams could be um, kind of fiery. <laughs> Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? The Two of Swords. Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? The Two of of pentacles. So let's clarify that ace of wands. Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? We have the lovers. Wow, could be Gemini. Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? The six of wands. Who is this person secretly dreaming about you? The hanged man. Back of the deck energy here is the Four of Swords, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is somebody who could, who is in no contact with you perhaps at the moment right now. With that Four of Swords, somebody has taken a retreat. They've gained a lot of perspective in this time, and now it's like they're. This person could be somebody who is from your past, could be a, a past um, lover perhaps. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune underneath. It's somebody that you had an intense connection to, somebody that you have a deep attraction to as well with the lover's energy, and somebody who's very much attracted to you. I don't know if this is someone you have known for a very long time since infancy or childhood. We do have an infant here, so children could be a factor for you. But it, it's somebody maybe connected to as well, connected to your children. If you do have children somehow, um, they could be somebody who you um, maybe had children with. But take that as it resonates. But it sounds like it looks like somebody says it sounds like it looks like because I'm hearing things in my head. But um, it looks like somebody who you are in no contact with here. Um, and this person is not really revealing themselves. It's like they're fighting themselves as far as as their desires and how they're they're kind of showing their themselves to you because we have that two of swords and then we have the six of wands so it's like i i want to show yourself myself as this victorious successful person but in truth i really am just i'm struggling i'm struggling with myself here i'm i'm having a hard time i'm gonna get some clarity in a moment the two of pentacles with the hanged man really shows this person kind of juggling um, their decision and what they want to do and both of these cards here are both about making a choice trying to decide and have being kind of unable to um, this person feels kind of hung up with the, the desire to communicate and I feel like that's why you're infiltrating their dreams because they have these un, this unfinished business they feel like they need to to experience with you they do have very um, kind of fiery um, I'm trying to stay uh, PG-13 but they do have very fiery dreams that kind of lead to a lot of fire in their dreams let's just say that there's just that's where everything kind of gets sparked and so they kind of move forward in reality trying to portray this this big shot but in truth they're making this decision on whether they want to come forward or not they're making this decision on whether they can approach you again with this ace of pentacles and open up the lines of communi communication so let's clarify here so this looks like somebody from your past who um you either had a relationship with um and again a very strong connection with here it may have been that it never moved into a relationship it could have been a friendship that didn't move into a, a relationship but let's see what are their dreams about what are their dreams? Whoops, about. What are their dreams about? We have the hermit. So it's like the only time they're able to truly express themselves when it comes to this connection and their feelings are in their dreams. They really hide pieces of themselves. They've buried themselves under the, under the ground here. They've cloaked themselves over here. But they are holding out that star. They're holding up that hope. And in their dreams, they don't... that hope shines there's virgo energy there it's kind of lonely what did this person dream about they dream about communicate talking with you i feel like a lot of part of their dreams is just talking with you 
the conversations that they wish that they could kind of express the things that like they dream about the perfect things that they're going to say or that they want to say and they it's like they they planned it out in their dreams it's like a play that goes on four of swords oh because it's almost the sense that that's the only way i can talk to you is through are my dreams that's the only way I can communicate my actual desires to you is through my dreams. I can't do it any other way because we're not in contact. I, I, and it feels like you're both kind of, feels like a deep no contact. I don't know if it spans a long time or you guys are physically apart. Like, and it's just, we have the page of wands. In their dreams, they're able to really explore their, their curiosity about you. And again, a very fiery but there are concerns. I feel like their dreams quick move quickly into this place of fear because the Queen of Swords is somebody who really doesn't allow people in her life that are no longer serving of her. So they have this opinion that you're very upset. <laughs> they have opinion that you maybe won't be there to kind of listen to them if they want to reveal themselves. And so that's why they really hold back. And they sit on all this information and they pay, maybe sometimes act like a big shot when in truth their mind here is on the Empress and they assume that the Empress the divine feminine in this connection has walked away and moved away um, and so they wear that mask there's the six of wands again so this person's dreams kind of go from being heated to like it's like all over the place they, they dream about talking with you and actually I feel like they like plan out conversations through their dreams with you and it's the only place where this kind of connection lies for them right now. And so they have to kind of keep it a secret. Because there's so much to lose with that Empress card. Hmm. I just felt like pulling a couple more cards here. <laughs> Their dreams. And what are they dreaming? Yeah, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh, the Nine of Cups. And we have the King of Wands at the back of the deck with the Five of Pentacles. So this person really does feel like they have really missed a great opportunity or they kind of messed up really poorly or really badly in the past. They've just missed out on something. They've missed the boat is what they're saying. And now they're really concerned Like you walked away already is what they're, they're worried about. And in their dreams, that's kind of themed. <laughs> That's the theme in their dreams. That Four of Cups shows that boredom, that apathy that they're feeling right now. And again, that feeling of loss. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. I can't, I can't open up. I feel like maybe if you know who this person is, I feel like there could be um, kind of a dichotomy between how you both feel. Like you think they're mad at you. They think they're, you're mad at them. And so that's what's holding up the, the stagnation in this is creating that kind of um, disconnect. But the Nine of Cups really shows that this person has really high love for you, a really big opinion. And it's about a wish being granted. It's about a dream come true. They have put you up on that pedestal if you are the Divine Feminine in this connection. They have put you up on that pedestal. Whew. Let's get some cards here from your person. What are they dreaming about? What are they dreaming about? We have the wisdom. I feel like they've gained a lot um, through this disconnect. If you are in no contact with this person and you know who it is, I feel like they've gained a lot of clarity and wisdom in this time. They've ascended here with the high priestess. They've ascended on their spiritual journey through this disconnect because of the lessons that were learned. We have destiny. <laughs> So this was a, a kind of divine, divinely guided connection to begin with. And um, Spirit is just saying that this is all kind of a part of the process. We have insecurity. And that is a real reflection. It's Capricorn energy. A real, just because of the devil imagery, not because Capricorns are inherently insecure. <laughs> but um, it's really about the insecurities this person feels about how they're going to be received and how, how their passion will be received.
We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, or transformation. So some of you might receive a message from this person out of the blue. With the page or Ace of Pentacles, some of this may receive a message to break this no contact. We have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. That fear of the Queen of Swords, that fear of not being accepted. The Queen of Swords is funny and sarcastic and a leader and she's just, she's many, many wonderful things, but you don't want to cross her because she doesn't have time for it. She doesn't have time for that. We have a photograph on the back of the deck, looking at your photos, nostalgia, thinking of you. We have the crocodile, the crocodile and the beaver. So the beaver really is about work. And so this person could have been somebody that you worked with. Um, somebody that, and I also honestly getting the, the message for some of you watching that this, someone could have a, a familial link or familiar, familial type of connection. Like they know your family or you knew them growing up or that sort of um, energy as well. The crocodile is that I've been lying in wait in the shadows, kind of like that hermit energy, like I've sunk down, it's that four of swords, it's like I'm lying in wait for my chance to strike. He said, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And that's the real hope here that this person is kind of holding down deep inside. And we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Back of the deck is, deck is the deception card because masks are being worn in this connection. Let's get some messages from your person. If they could say anything, what would they say? What would they say right now if they have no fear? Please, spirit, that one's coming out. I'm just going to move these over. Don't give up on us. <laughs> Don't give up on us is the first message out of the deck. Let this person know. Okay. <laughs> I'm a different person than you remember. So if this is somebody that you know from the past, if you know who I'm talking about, they're saying they've grown up. Again, they've ascended during this time. They've grown during this time. The separation is killing me. I am haunted by us in my daytime, in my dreamlike state. And you drive me crazy. Back of the deck is you consume my thoughts. And that's kind of the Nine of Swords card for me. Let's get some of these little cards here. If this person could say anything, what would they say? Please, Spirit. Oh, we got a bunch kind of plopped out of there. It's too many and they're too varied. Okay, let's see what we have. I want adventure with you. I'm coming. <laughs> In their dreams, they're able to do all sorts of things. That page of wands is all about adventure. It's all about curiosity and travel. I'm scared of your temper. There's the end. I'm scared of your temper. But I would like to build together. That's my ultimate dream. I believe we could have it all. You are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And that's really the reflection of how they feel about this beautiful empress here. Sleepless nights. We have it's over, isn't it? But this just doesn't feel right. And it feels like it's over for them because I feel like for some of you, this distance or this time length of disconnect is pretty long. I can't keep doing this. I'm tired. I can't. They're tired because they can't actually get a good night's sleep because they're dreaming about it so much. Charm bowl for group number three, please. Dreams in this person on their mind. What are they dreaming about? We have the five of swords in your teeny tiny tarot. We have the knight of cups. And we have the ten of, of pentacles. So I feel like with that five of swords, it's like somebody winning at all costs. It's like I... 
I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and I feel like there might be no winner. It's like I walked away, it happened abruptly and there were deep regret after that. And now I'm hesitant to come back, but I do want to come back with this beautiful love offer because I feel like we could have it all together. We could build our life into this 10 of pentacles we could you know have a future here but i am really worried about how things ended so i'm concerned about i have trepidation to reveal myself and now it's infiltrating their dreams and it's really affecting them we have um the shell that makes me think of the high priestess we had the high priestess and i said that your person has ascended during this time spiritually of disconnect um but this one has a hole in it you know, the inside of that shell, the curled part holds secrets. You can't see what's in there. Just like the high priestess sits on information. But this one has a hold in it. For some of you, this person could be expressing themselves soon. We have the unicorn in the bowl, which is about uniqueness and infinite possibility and how this person really views you. We have the four-leaf clover, and we do have the starfish in the bowl as well, which is about having hope for healing, having hope to kind of mend things that have been lost. We have live, laugh, and love, and we have I love you to the moon and back. So I love you to the moon and back. I love that when that charm comes up. It's from a Sam McBratney book, and it's really about um, loving someone beyond and forever and in an, in an infinite way. But when it shows the moon and we're talking about dreaming and we're talking about hidden feelings, um, it is really about how it doesn't matter what this person is portraying. It's just their dreams are reflective of their true feelings. Their dreams are a reflection of their true state. Give you a little... At that four-leaf clover, it's like, I'm going to need luck here. <laughs> I'm going to need luck to move towards that queen. All right, group number three, that is what I have for you. Who is dreaming about you? What are some of their secret dreams and thoughts of this connection? Um, if this resonated, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me to bring more content to you. Um, check me out on Instagram and you can book me for a personal reading if you're interested. Um, the link is below. If you go to my page in the listings, page is empty. It just means I've booked for the day and I will update at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.